Trigger. Trigger man. Trigger man. Trigger man. Let's go. No question. Solidify. We go way back from Lab Rats. Y'all don't even know nothing about Lord knows I'm out here grinding. I feel like I could use some help. Even though all my niggas behind me, I feel like I'm all by myself. Try to keep the fuck niggas from around me. Chase to heaven, I'm running through hell. A lot of the homies are dead or in jail. Who is Trigger Man? Hmm. Who is Trigger Man? Um, Trigger Man is an artist. You know, um, first and foremost, yeah, he's a um, he's an artist. He's not a rapper. Um, he's not not anything. I would say you you used to. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't. I just don't believe in being put in the box creativity, uh, creatively, you know what I'm saying, so. I feel like, why the name, though? Uh-huh. Hey, looking back, the name? hold tight, I'm about to hit the gas. You know, it's that nigga Trigger with the gas. It's that nigga Trigger with the drip. It's that nigga Trigger with the cash. Some when I was coming up, when I first started rapping, I was in school, I was good with numbers. Um, and I used to use numbers and math and a lot of my, my lyrics. Um, so it would be like Trigger Man, you know, uh, trigonometry, Trigger Man for short. You know, a lot of people thought it was it had something to do with with uh, pistols or guns. You know what I'm saying? Even though I am very very efficient with those tools, you know what I'm saying? I use other tools as well. Um, so it was like a double line time drill. It's actually, it's actually a, a, a triple, it could actually be a quadruple entendre as well, you know, um, Trigger Man, numbers, trigonometry, uh, Trigger Man, you know what I'm saying, I, I am pretty efficient with pistols, you know, Trigger Man, I do music, I make hits, you know what I'm saying, if you need a hit, you can call me, you know what I'm saying, Trigger Man, shit, I got Glock Grammar. You know what I'm saying? Because the bars are like that. You know what I'm saying? They they can hit you like hollow tip. So, <laughs> yeah, man. So you can choose however you want it, whatever you want it to mean. You know what I'm saying? It can mean that. Yeah. You know uh, as far as rap itself, I say, I, you know, I. I've, I've always done music. I grew up in church. I have a musical background. My dad sings. My mom sings. Um, I've always played instruments as far as the piano, the drums. I sung, you know, um, growing up. But I started rapping, you know, in the eighth grade. I, I had a group of friends that just happened to like rap. Wu-Tang and Flip Mode was their thing. Um, we did a talent show, and you know uh, who, who was it? Who was did, the friend? Yeah, do they still rap? <laughs> nah, I mean, well, they might do it as as a hobby. You know, I haven't spoken to to, to these guys in years. My homeboy Detilio, uh Radcliffe, and my man uh, Sam Montgomery. You know what I'm saying? Roger Gray too. What up? Shout out to my homeboy. Mm. And not only them, but again, I started off rapping with cats you might know, like uh, Show Flacco. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I I produced his first tape. You know what I'm saying? Street Cadet. Yeah, Show's doing a lot out here. Yeah. He, he's still actively out here doing his thing or whatnot. Yes, sir. And, you know, he's doing his thing or whatnot. But like, oh, all right, more about your own your rap. Like, you said it was like four people in the rap group. I mean, it was four friends that we used to write little lyrics. Let's say we would write bars in the classroom, hand. What him. grade was this? This is eighth grade. Oh, okay. the eighth grade. You know what I'm saying? So I write. He'll write bars, hand the paper over. He'll write something that go to that, hand the paper over to me. I will do the same thing. When it was time for the talent show, we did what we did on the regular for the talent show, and you know the little girls was going crazy. And like, oh, man, it's like, 
man. I was killing it though. Was that your gonna... first like performance in front of yeah, people? Yeah, that was the first rap performance in front of people. So you nervous or none of that? I was definitely nervous, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I put on the I had the hater blockers on, so and at that time I wore prescription glasses, so I couldn't see, you know what I'm saying? So I had to got dang, I had the the shades on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't see. I could feel the energy and I can hear though, you know what I'm saying? So that's what that's what drove the performance. And after that I decided oh, I gotta put her on. Tell a hater hop on my dick, then I put her on. Then that nigga fire, then that nigga fire. If you need that work, that nigga for high. Trigger ain't that dude, that nigga a lot. Definitely an art to performing and to some people it comes natural to me. Um, rapping as far as uh, or being on stage and performing rap is a lot different than performing other ways in other ways, you know. Um, it, it, I'm still trying to perfect, you know what I'm saying, my craft as far as performance is, is concerned. Like, how, how important do you think uh, performance is? That's like, I heard this thing, you know, uh, a few years ago, the five elements of hip-hop. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what, it's some type of pop type of dance. Is the um, the music the producer? Is the performance? And I don't want to be wrong. I can't really remember the other two, but it's like five elements. There's that, battle. There's battling. I know there's battling. There's b boy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, b boy. Um, so out of those, what would you say like is the thing that you're most good at? Oh. Uh, 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 people can rap, but they. People can rap, but they can't write. And then you got people that can write, they can't rap. Well, see, that's that's the reason why I, I pretty much say that I don't like to be put in the box. Because if you listen to some people, some people tell me I should be a better rapper or I should stick to hip hop. And then there's some people that tell me that, damn boy, you need to you need to write for for these people. You need to to to, to sell these songs. You know what I'm saying to, to to industry people. You know what I'm saying so. It's, I, I just, I don't limit myself, you know what I mean? So would you like to sit in doing any of those things, you know, to get your name out there more? Because I know a few writers, I think that came from this area. Mm -hmm. um, well, I know you know about Swan, Swan Gotti or whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, he did some writing when he was locked up. Got him a little, nice little check or whatnot. And he's a good rapper. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's, 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 yeah, some shit. that's dope. I didn't know that. But yeah, I mean... I would definitely do it because I've seen the fact that I've done it already and and I haven't gotten paid for it. Like I'm not gonna go too far into detail, but and and this game right now, like that's what niggas niggas stealing shit. So you know what I mean? I would definitely write some shit for somebody for a check or for some credit. You know what I'm saying? In order to boost my name and 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 to. Increase my net worth, of course. You know what I'm saying? So if you're an artist out there and you need help writing a hit, I don't have to have the credit. You know what I'm saying? You can pay me for my services and you'll never hear from me again. Won't no Quentin Miller shit going on over here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> working with in the studio or on what project I'm working on. Like I, I could say um, with the project I have out now, um, the a little older, a lot colder project, I uh, that was executive produced by my homeboy, Young Des the Genius. And our process is, is real easy going and, and sometimes we, we, we build a lot of the stuff so organically from the from the start now if i'm not dealing with 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 him you know um I, I, if i'm dealing with a random engineer somebody that i'm not used to working with like i don't even go into the studio unless i have the whole song worked out and planned out to the fact where the engineer is gonna have to do 
minimal work. You know what I'm saying? All he's going to really have to do is hit record when I tell him to hit record or hit stop. You know what I'm saying? Or punch in. You know what I mean? So, like throughout all my years dealing with rappers, you know, you come across cats that that have a producer. Either they have a producer that knows their sound, that can make their sound and make them sound good. Yes, sir. Or they're putting out, you know, going to different different people to get their sound made. Mm -hmm. Like, would you prefer only working with one engineer, one producer for the majority of your, your projects that know your sound that you can buy with instead of doing the opposite of having to really build a relationship with somebody new every single time? Um, I think in the game that we in now, it's important to establish a sound first. So, you know, I have no problem working with other producers, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm all about coming up with the best product. But when it comes to my sound, I, I prefer working with my producer because he knows me, he knows where I'm trying to go. A lot of times I don't have to, to, to say certain things, you know what I'm saying? When we come together, we create a third entity pause, you know what I'm saying? It's the mastermind principle or whatever, you know what I mean? So in 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 correlation, there there is no one without the other when it comes to that, you know. Um, but once I I made the amount of noise or the gotten the buzz that I, I felt I should have received or or a comparable buzz, then I would definitely work with somebody else just so I can, you know what I'm saying, cross fan bases, of course, you know. So since we're on the topic, what would you categorize your, your music as? You know, you got all these different categories. Uh, you know, like rapper, like trap rapper. Uh, you can be a punchline rapper, which is, I think died off for real, for real. So you can be somebody with bars, like, the, you know, what's coming back with the resurgence of this, the old 90s sound with Benny the Butcher and all that under Zelda game. Yeah, I mean, but like, what would you, what would Kevin you call that? Uh, man. Either you a friend or you the enemy. Other than that, I ain't got the energy. Cause I be in my zone, I be in my zone. Hit my nigga dance, like, let's make a song. Find a bad R&B bitch and put her on. Tell her hey, to hop on my dick, then I put her on. Then that nigga fat, then that nigga fat. <laughs> nah, I, you know what I mean? I, I got, you know what I'm saying, tracks that you can move to, but the, you know what I mean? it's not it's not that turned up club shit, you know what I mean? Um, I would say, if I could, if I could, let me give you an example. Ah, oh, man, it's a hard question. Because again, once again, I don't put myself in the box. But this this last project, be a little older, a lot colder, it, it's, you can hear the bars. But they're they're not. I'm not very wordy, you know. Um, the the bars are simple. It won't require you to do as much thinking. But when you do think about what it is that I just said, you'll be like, "Hold up, run that back." You know what I'm saying? But again, it's not just wordy. I have a lot of melody in my music. You know, I'm I'm, I'm harmonizing. You know, um, I've been told that my verses. If I have a 12 bar verse, it sounds like three hooks, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? It's, 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 uh, it's more along, I'll say, I, I, I fuck with Roddy Rich right now. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Thug, I fuck with, you know, Yellow Beezy, you know what I'm saying? You know, saying? all of those rappers you name it, are all, all that intermediate. You got a little bit of harmonizing. Yeah. Some, you get some bars from them. Yeah. Sometimes spitting fast. Shit, they might even touch on a political issues. Sometimes lightly. See now, yeah, now it's it, 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 instead of just being about talent and, and other shit, it's about vibes. Cats is selling vibes now, you yeah? know. And if you if you can feel if you feel what they was feeling when they was rapping that shit and you moving if if they let's say if if you end up moving the way that they're moving in that video or when they were recording that song and they reached you know what I'm saying they reached the goal you know what I'm saying because now they they got in your head and they sold you a vibe you're vibing with them you know what I'm saying and that's what this is about now. Um, it's not all it's about, but again, I understand. Yeah, I feel you. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah, facts. 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 So, and I like the vibe just like everybody else. I'm a little, you know what I mean? So as far as this project, we said the name was? Um, the project is called A Little Older, A Lot Colder. Um, you know, um well, that basically means grew up now. You know, you want some other shit. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I, I'm a little older. Like when it comes to the 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 people and the generations that are doing what it is that I'm doing, I'm a little older than than a lot of my peers. You know, um, but I don't lack in 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 anything else. Like you know, the drip is the I drip harder than. 99% of these little niggas out here, like a lot of these niggas do designer, you know what I'm saying? That's cool, you know what I mean? Gucci and all that, but I make a Walmart t shirt look like they make Fendi, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, or something else, you know what I'm saying? So it, I'm I'm a little older, a lot colder. Like I can I can box with any of these little niggas, I can shoot with any of these little niggas out here. Um, if you want to sum it up in a simpler term, if you understood uh, J. Cole's Middle Child song, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's almost like a little more aggressive version of that. You know what I mean? And just because I'm the 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 last of the... I'm the youngest of these OGs that's out here now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm the oldest of these new little niggas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I've experienced the transition to the point where niggas is out here when there wasn't the internet and when you actually had to do the work and then it was about talent, you know what I'm saying? To when it changed up to the point where now it's about the internet and it's about, you know what I'm saying, social media, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a whole different game, you know what I'm saying? But I do well in both periods because I adapt, you know what I'm saying? And and that's what that's about for real. So what's on what's the single? What's released right now that people can can buy to all for this this project? Okay, um right now you can check out well the the album the uh, the tape is out everywhere on all platforms. Um you can also check out the videos. We had the video out for a type of time. Uh, featuring Young Des, the genius, you know what I'm saying? Shot by the good folks over there at 360 Austin Production. Um, we also have, um, we have In My Zone. Um, we have Reflection. Shot, um, what else was that? We have, we have another one. I was trying to remember what it was. Reflection, type of time. In My Zone. Ah, uh, no competition. No competition is also out, you know, um, on YouTube. Um, those were the four singles off of that project. Um, we're going into the second quarter now, so you know we got a, a new tape that I'm working on um, called "We Are Not the Same." Um, we're already a couple of videos in on that. I'll be dropping a couple of singles, one in a million. Um, me and, and my boy Nick Nikon and uh Dominique are building building the concept around that right now. I have a new single we about to drop very, very soon, probably in the next couple of weeks, called Hopscotch. R I P Pop Smoke, you know what I'm saying? He inspired that that record. Um, so like as far as those, um, out of all the projects, all the stuff you got coming out right now, what are you most confident about? Like, what's your favorite record that you know the people is gonna be like, yo, this, uh, this it right here? Oh man, you want to know the craziest thing about all this is the 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 shit that I feel like is gonna get me the the, the big check or is gonna really put me on the map ain't even the stuff that I have a timeline for release yet. Now, again, it's very hardly ever what the artist feels is going to take off that that does, but I have some shit. I'm talking about, man, I got R&B tracks that I feel like, you know, if um, the right person here, you know, the right person want that, want that song, man, it's on after that. And that's stuff that 
I haven't put out yet because, of course, there's reference tags or there hasn't been a project in mind. But if you stay tuned, you're going to find out all of this, man. Just stay, keep, keep it locked to your boy, man. Cause we definitely working over here. I've been on a whole different type of time. Dollar signs give me peace of mind. I'm headed to the top. That's the bottom line. You guys can catch me on IG at that nigga trigger. That's D A T N I C C A T R I G G A. Um, you can find me on Twitter at that nigga trigger. Same. Um, you can find me on YouTube, the C Monster Six. That's C M O N S T A. The number six. Um, find me on Facebook, Lance Stewart. Um, shit, man. I'm I'm out here. SoundCloud, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's trigger the C Monster. One word. That's T R I G G A D A C M O N S T A. Um, yeah, man, you can find me anyway. Just, you just gotta look, man. And, and again, you can find that project a little older, a lot colder on all streaming and download platforms as iTunes, um, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Amazon, Amazon Prime. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with your boy, man. Uh, once again, it's your boy Trigger Man. Thanks for keeping it locked with me. Check out the new video and a new single for my new single, Hot Scotch. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Pop Smoke. And shout out to the kid for the motivation. Jarvis. Yeah. Jarvis. Yeah. 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 Yeah.